okay welcome back guys so i want to teach you how you can bring any logo you have with your uh, by drawing it whether you drew it on a paper how you can bring it to life so let's try with this sketch so we're going to we're going to bring this image this is what we're going to use so bringing this one we're going to form a logo cafe logo with this okay so what's the first thing that we need to do we'll go to the shape area you just carve it out like this and use it to trace it okay perfect then we are going to copy reduce the size and let it be perfect as this okay so when you manage to do that we are going to make the two then copy and I have that position here okay perfect so after we're able to do that you look at it critically after we're able to do that okay we'll copy position needs here and then we are going to line have a line like this okay perfect change that to you can even have it across here let it go beyond this line okay then change the color to black so we have this so you can allow this to extend a little bit to that okay well we're going to cut out that so once we're able to do that you turn on the opacity for us to be able to know where to cut so we're going to bring another line by cross this so we have another line that will cross come to this side uh, we'll position that here change the color to black so after that we have another line that is going to be here okay can change that to black as well now it seems we are good to go so you take your time to set this properly okay perfect so after that has been done then we are going to do the same thing here or we take it slow and steady so now we have to cut out this part so we we'll position a line here so after that we have to copy so when you copy we have to cut out this part as well this so we can rotate this in one bit so we we'll move it so that we we'll cut out those parts we we'll have to cut out this part as well so we need to set it accurately
so you can now change the color to this okay perfect so after that we can first of all deal with this but let's cut out this part as well click ok adjust this a little bit eh? for us to be able to cut so guys everything seems to be okay so we can bring this one down for us to have an accurate shot so after that let's merge everything together cut it out and proceed with the next step so you can go to erase color erased so when you erase you'll be able to see the others so the next thing we're going to do after that we are going to the shape as well get into the shape we are going to have this okay we are going to have this which will extend to this so after having that we are going to copy sorry when you copy you rotate position it here so that will be here go to the color change the color okay perfect so what do we need to do we reduce the opacity for us to know where to cut so let's see where we're going to cut so we're going to bring a shape rotate it a bit so 55 so we are cutting that part okay but what we are going to do before we cut we are making just the two alone we are only merging the two alone so that we will not cut all that part so we'll go to erase color erased so when you are enraged, you cannot give it a color that will merge the whole stuff. So now, after position that, so the next thing we need to do is to cut out. Then we are going to hide this. Then go to a line and a calf. Just crop a line like this. You can actually rotate it or reduce your opacity to see clearly move it to this side then crop it like this you have to be very careful at this juncture so that you will not mistakenly cut parts that are necessary okay so it can shift now nothing cost you to unhide the two so that you can be able to see them clearly so let's move it and cut it so rotate this a bit now move it Perfect. You can adjust a bit. Okay, this is cool. And this is letter V and B. Okay. Just merge the two. Then you cut it. So we have this. So it's not in there. We'll proceed further by cutting out this we can shift it while we copy we'll position this here so 
So now that we call that, we already set that you can now merge together. Then you go to erase color and you erased. So this one will give you a letter V and B. Okay. So when you have that, the next thing you are going to do is to give it a color of your choice. So take it for instance, I want to use a, let's say I use this color for it. Okay, I use this color, so this could be cool. Or I use the same color. I can use this color if I want. Just make it deeper a little bit. So now I have this. So I can turn this to whatever I actually wanted. So let's say this is letter V and B. Okay. So, we are good with everything. Thank you for watching, guys. I believe we'll learn something from here. This is how to make a monogram logo on your Android smartphone using your PC lab. Thank you for watching once again. God bless you.